100 meters dead ahead. Thank you. I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, right, Joey. If you know what you're doing, then why is every single solo mission you do a complete fuck up? Let me know when you need me to come and rescue you again. Listen, I've got this. I'm a professional, all right? <laughs> Romy, radio silence from here. Okie dokie. Just try not to fuck it up. Same question. <laughs> Do you believe this guy? Is he for real? Why is he wearing a mask? I don't know. Seriously, what the fuck? I'll ask again. Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> I won't tell you who I am, because you already know who I am. Everybody knows! But I will tell you what I want. I want all of you vampire cunts, dead. <laughs> Lol, good luck with that. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Life isn't fair. Toodles. Kill him. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, come on, really? Fuck this. Did I miss? Oh, not again. You are well shit at this. I oh, know, I oh, know. I've got to sort it out. You've any idea how long it takes now? Fucking expensive it is to make silver bullets. Silver bullets? Uh, that's werewolves, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. They definitely work on vampires, though. I mean, just take a look around at all your dead mates, so, uh... Vamps, I reckon one should be creeping up behind me right about now. <laughs> you vampires are so predictable. Bye, bye.
Uh, well, this is awkward day. Abby! <laughs> Of them got away. Yeah, which never would have happened if I was with you instead of being stuck at home in a chair, pointlessly staring at screens. Okay, okay. You're right. You're always right. I've got no movement on the GPS. Shit! So, what's the plan? The tracker must have been on one of the vamps I fucked up. Which means I can't track them. I got no idea where they went. Great. Listen, the one that got away nicked some sort of fancy pants knife or something. Can you? The track is moving right behind you! Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, you dirty slag. Why robbing this place up? Who's the woman? Ugh, you're so intimidating, so scary. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'll tell you everything. Really, I've done a shat my pants. Last chance. Where do they go? I don't have to kill you. Uh, obviously you do. Uh, yeah, you're right. I do. Oh, that sounded pretty gross. Romany, you find out what they nicked and why. Will do. Shouldn't be a problem. The badness. <laughs> right. I'll just finish up here and I'll be home soon. Cool. And don't forget the shopping. I won't. The baroness. <laughs> Will. <laughs> right. You figure out who they are, what they took, and where they went. And I'll pop to Tesco's. Good. And babes? Yeah? I love you. Union Jack. You look like absolute shit. Cheers, Romany. Well, I feel like absolute shit. And, because I'm covered in vamp juice, I also smell like absolute shit. Anyway, did you find anything? Of course I did. They were very easy to hack. You do know I've got full clearance and all the access codes. Oh, where's the fun in that? Anyway, I think I know what they took. There was one vampy item stored there. It's an early 16th century artifact. A ceremonial blade, Romanian origin, and acquired in Spain. 
And? Is that it? That's all they've got on it. However, I'm much smarter than those dickheads. Come take a look. So I checked the stolen knife against the vamp folklore of the same time period, and my guess is that the vamps think that it's the Luna Espada from the Sabbath of the Rosy Road. Uh, remember your audience here? Okay, so the story goes that a coven of vamps went in and slaughtered an entire village. But not the normal Primark vamps like we're used to killing. These were full on immortal. No thirst, okay in the sunlight. The legend has it that there was a sacred ritual for them to become super vamps. And apparently this is the blade they used in the ritual. Right up. So, it's all bollocks, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, I'd like to think so. But after some of the crazy shit we've seen, who knows? Basically, it's the vampire version of the Holy Grail. <laughs> well, then it can't be true, can it? Everyone knows Indiana Jones got the Holy Grail. <sighs> well, whether this thing is real or not, these vamps are serious and they're dangerous. They're dangerously serious. No, they're seriously dangerous. Trust me, they're not serious and they are not dangerous. You should have seen what the wank puffins were wearing. So, how do we find them? What's next? That's all I've got from memory in the web, but I'll go to the museum later. They'll know more. Also, I saved your ass yet again. That's the 16th time. Don't you think it's about time you saved my life? I kind of want to be the damsel in distress for once. You're the brains, and I'm the brawn. Well, can the brawn go and make me a cup of fucking tea then? You're the boss. Yeah, and don't you forget it. Getting hold of this was surprisingly straightforward. Yeah, it's a piece of piss. And it was good fun too. <laughs> yeah. So, what's next? We still going ahead with the plan tonight? Yes we do, Grousem. That's one down and two to go. The plan is coming together nicely. We should celebrate, do something special. Treat ourselves to a cheeky Nando's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bar Baroness. What about the man in the mask? What about him? He's dead. Isn't he? Uh, yeah. Uh, po probably. Possibly. It's, uh, it's just that the others, they haven't come back yet. The sun is up, so, uh... Ah, fuck it. If he's not dead yet, he will be soon. Mission? A mission! Good one! A fucking mission! After this shit you pulled last night, what the fuck were you thinking? Uh, It wasn't me. It wasn't you! I can't! 
cannot continue to clean up after you. You work for me. I pick the targets. That is how this works. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I'm sorry. Agent Chapman, why do I employ you? Because I'm the best. The best! You are the worst! You are the very definition of unprofessional! You are completely incapable of following orders. Your strategies are oblique. You are reckless! You are insubordinate! Yeah, but you I... You consistently make the worst possible decisions. I mean, we have the latest cutting-edge technology at our disposal, and you insist on running around with a hundred-year-old antique gun, a rusty dagger, and a bag on your chest for fuck's sake! Union Jack is a tradition! Tradition is gonna get you killed and me fired! You're a catastrophe! Half the paperwork I have to do, and most of the groveling is due to you and your exploits. Agent, you're a fucking liability. Okay, okay. That's harsh, but fair. I've concocted a cover story. The sunlight will have cleaned up all the dead vampire mess you've made. And I've wiped the CCTV including the footage where you took your mask off, idiot. And now I've got to go and visit the family of the dead security guard and explain why daddy's not coming home. Yeah, but Gavin, if you'd listened to me in the first place, if you'd helped, then that security guard would still we be- We are MI5. We hunt terrorists, not vampires. You are an agent, an errand boy, a glorified civil fucking servant. So just do your job and do as you're told. You are not a vigilante. You are not a vampire hunter. And you are definitely, most definitely not a superhero. Are we clear? Well, I mean, it depends on your definition of superhero. I don't want to hear it. You're only active if and when I activate you. Now, Stay out of trouble. Hold on, can I please just say... No! I'm just going to meet Joe for a quick drink. Kenneth, I really don't know if that's a good idea. Seriously, Mum? You worry too much. It's just a drink. It's not the drink I'm worried about. It's that Joseph Chapman. I will send him your love. Don't wait up. You know, every time he walks out that door, I can't help but think it may be the last time I see him alive. Cup of tea? Yes, please, Percy. Joe! Captain Britain? Fuck you, Ken. <laughs> How you doing, man? Yeah, fine, thanks. How are you? Yeah, all good, man. All good. Here you go, man. For you. Cheers, Joe. Cheers, man. So, any news? What are the doctors saying? They've been saying the same thing they've been saying since day one. 
Yeah. They don't have a clue what's going on with my fucked up blood. There's nothing they can do. Come on, man. There must be something that they can do. There isn't. But there's nothing anyone can do, okay? My poor mum, bless her, she's tried everything. She has spent an absolute fortune looking for some sort of magical cure. She's an absolute wreck. I'm so sorry, man. Don't apologise. It is what it is. I've drunk a lot of booze. I've cried my little eyes out. Hell, I've even tried praying. I've done a lot of thinking, done a lot of soul searching. I've come to terms with it. I've accepted it. But there is no point fighting a battle that cannot be won. Ken, mate, there is no such thing as a battle that can't be won. Yeah? Well, that might well be the case when it comes to you wrestling fucking stinky vampires and absolute nutters in ridiculous costumes. But it simply does not apply when it comes to a terminal diagnosis. Okay. Fair point. Joe, mate, I've made my peace with it. And now I just want to enjoy what little time I have left. Good. And listen, man. I know you're a gazillionaire. Your servants have got servants. And I'm just some low-class cretin you met randomly at uni. But anything you want, whether big or small, even it's, you know, a bit freaky weird. You just say the word, man. Thanks. No, I appreciate it. But look, you're not a low-class cretin, all right? You're a working-class cretin, okay? That's much worse. The thing is, Joe, that I don't want anything special or crazy, and I definitely don't want anything freaky weird. I just want to carry on as normal. <sighs> Fucking hell, Ken. Even on your deathbed, you are still the most boring, <laughs> miserable fucker alive. Oh, well. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, man. <sighs> Fucking hell. <sighs> right. Let's get shit faced. Joey, I know you've got a lot of missed calls from me. And I don't want to come off as a psycho girlfriend. I'm not checking up on you. And I'm definitely not stalking you. I know you're having a drink with your best mate. Who's also dying. But I've got news on the vamps. And we've got a job to do. In that wrestling ring, I beat you <laughs> fucking down more than once. <laughs> fucking hell. Mm -hmm. Look at this place. <laughs> home sweet home. I remember the first time that I fucking visited you here. I knew you were a rich posh swat, but look at all this. <laughs> what was I me. thinking? Bringing a fucking train spotting Danny Boyle fucking <laughs> toilet diving pikey piece of scum like you here fucking with me. Hell. I thought you were trying to shag me. <laughs> Everyone does. <laughs> That's nice fucking, what's that? Oh fuck, it's Romany. Yeah? Fuck. Fuck me, 11 missed calls. <laughs> fuck. Uh, Romany's oh, great. Shit. Oh Romany's yeah, great. Man. Yeah. Oh, Romany's yeah. great. When are you gonna get married? I don't fucking know. I wanna be your best man. <laughs> fuck, you're not being a best man, mate. <laughs> what? A rich posh twat like you. Imagine the fucking stag do. It'll be brilliant. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Uh, shit, it's your mum. Uh, fuck. <laughs> If we've woken her up, she's going to give us the bollocking of a fucking lifetime. We are in big trouble now, mate. <laughs> hey, mum. Mum, look. Look, I've got Union Jack with me. Uh, you're not my mum. Wait here, Ken. I saved the wine. Hello, Count. Oh no, sorry, there's no O, is there? It's just cunt, isn't it? <laughs> so, how'd you find me? And why'd you go to all that trouble to get that fancy blade? The man in the mask. But not in the mask. Who are you? Oh, come on, man. We don't need an origin story, do we? It's super simple stuff, isn't it? 
I'm the good guy, you're the bad guy, and I'm gonna kick the living shit out of you. Why are you trying to fuck with the Baroness's plans? You can't stop her. You can't stop destiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's a bit melodramatic, isn't it? Destiny. Have you heard yourself, mate? Have you heard idea what you're saying? <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, mate. When's the last time you brush your teeth? <laughs> 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 He's gone. I fucking hate it when they do that. And the fuck raised me half a bottle of wine. That was the good stuff. Don't worry, mate. I'll make him pay. Now, come on, let's get you inside. He can't get into the house without an invite. Who was he? What the fuck did he want? I don't know. But I've got a feeling that we're going to find out. Okay, we got ourselves a van. Then start the fuck out! Everybody! So sorry, I'm really fucked up. It's my bad, but next time Fuck I. Fuck it. Don't worry about it, it's all good. Thank you. I will go back there tonight, as soon as the sun goes down. Just shit on me. That's good luck, isn't it? It is for birds. Don't know about bats. I'll go back there tonight as soon as the sun goes down. And this time, I will not fail. No, 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 no. Leave him to me. He's mine. Oh, by the way, did you get the milk? Uh, no, sorry, I'll go and get it now. He's mine. 